In this video, I'm going to be going over the best ways that you can be getting collecting these rare special cargo crates in Grand Theft Auto Online, which this week is going to be the best time to be doing this potentially because we could be taking advantage of the double cash and the double RP. So there's actually a couple different methods that we can be using to get these special rare cargo crates in Grand Theft Auto Online. And the first one is just going to be grinding CEO crates. That's one of the best ways of doing it right there. And then just getting a random phone call from your assistant saying that there is a special special crate over at your CEO office. So right now I'm just actually loading into the game and looks like we hit the threshold and got that trigger to where we actually got her to call me and she's telling me right now that there is a special cargo crate that's just chilling ready to get bought in. So of course these crates are going to be more priced than you know the normal stuff right there because the highest price is like the 18,000 for the three crates but we're only going to be going after one crate here and that one crate can be anywhere from like 21 to 27 thousand dollars. All right, so once you're at your CEO office, you're going to go to your computer after getting the phone call from your assistant, which once again is going to be random, but the best way of getting that phone call is actually just running your CEO crate. So just sourcing crates, at some point it should trigger, you know, something to happen. But you're not just going to be getting it randomly, potentially. It's after you do something in the game. So I just actually loaded into the game, and she just randomly called me. But I'd already been running CEO Crate. So right here, you can see this. $21,000 uh, for this item right here. It's only going to be one crate, so that's all we have to go after. And then, of course, this is going to be double cash and double RP. So once we collect this item, it's going to be randomized what it is. Then you can just go ahead and get it, and then take it to whatever, you know, I would say warehouse that you're wanting to. If you wanted to potentially you know fill up maybe a warehouse if you had a small one with a bunch of special stuff if you can get that to happen uh, all you have to do is just keep selling the regular stock and then just hanging on to the other stuff but at one point here this stuff can get glitched out and I'll be talking about that in a moment's time after we go ahead and grab this so once again getting a phone call is completely random but the best way to get a phone call is actually like trigger the phone call of having your assistant get a hold of you is running these CEO crates. So it doesn't matter. You just got to be doing it. You can do this in an invite only session. Doesn't matter what session you're in. Doesn't have to be a public or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I'm in an invite only session right now because I'm not going to be like, you know, in a public session trying to run crates and then get the crates back to a warehouse, potentially getting blown up. So right there, we just got one, and it looks like I just got some career challenge, which is pretty cool too. So for the price, just remember this, I paid $21,000 for that crate. Now that crate is worth $210,000. That's like 10 times the profit of what it would normally be worth right there. Yeah, like 10 times the profit for this Sasquatch right there. So just by paying $21,000, I can go ahead and collect $210,000 by selling this special crate here in Grand Theft Auto, which is going to be one of the better crates of getting, of course, is not, you know, the, the regular ones, but these ones right here, because they are worth the most amount of money. Now, earlier, I did talk about potentially, you know, things getting glitched out and you never being able to get a phone call if you're just like, just grinding these crates out and your assistant will not call you for whatever reason, then potentially this is something that you're going to have to do. So right here, we're getting another phone call. I just want to go ahead and show you this. So I was just sitting out, you know, uh, my CEO office or something like that, or not my CEO, but one of the warehouses, whatever. And then she just randomly called me, which this has happened a few times. So I want to go ahead and show you guys potentially a correct here on what you're going to do. So she's going to call you and she's going to be like, oh, you got a special crate over at, you know, the CEO office. But like, cool. Well, let's go to the CEO office and let's go ahead and purchase that crate. So right now it's glitched out and I don't really know exactly why it gets glitched out like this. Potentially this is something that's been happening, I would say, ever since the recent update for the CEO crates of all the assistants and things like that. So right here, we're just going to go on here. So just remember, I just got a phone call and she said that there's a crate here, but there's no crate here so therefore it's like glitched out and even if i did the 2000 crate that's not a special rare crate i'm not going to get a special rare crate for doing that it's basically like the game is glitched out some for some reason now this is what you're going to have to do if you're never getting phone calls or potentially you're getting a phone call you're going to your ceo office and there's nothing there is you need to go to every single one of your warehouses and sell everything sell all your special crates sell all your normal crates sell everything from every warehouse and then just start from 
fresh. Potentially, you might want to think about staying away from your little helper workers here. Although, the good thing about the helper workers is they can help you get special crates as well. And from what I was told, not personally by my experience, but this is what people have been telling me, is, you know, your little helpers can actually get you special crates, which will count towards your career challenge. But I don't think that I've had any of that happen necessarily yet. And I've been pretty diligent in, uh, like, paying these people to go get me some crates, which they can either get one, two, three, or, you know, a, a rare crate, I would say, at that point, too. So right there, I got, like, three out of three, and this is what I was working on this week, trying to get these special crates, which is why I was making this video, showing you guys how to get these... Pe uh, Showing you how to get these special rare crates here in Grand Theft Auto Online and potentially a fix if you, you're never getting a phone call at all from your assistant, which can be absolutely frustrating, especially after running this for like four hours straight or something like that. And the whole time, you never got a phone call from your assistant. And then once again, make sure, like if you're not getting phone calls, go do something. Maybe potentially log out of the game and then log back into the game. And you'll, you'll notice like once you load back into the game, just like me in the very beginning of the video I got a phone call from my assistant and I was actually able to go get a special crate because prior to that I've been doing nothing but running crates here in Grand Theft Auto which is going to trigger the phone calls and then also once again don't forget about your assistants there that you can pay and they can also get special cargo but I don't know if that's going to count towards a career challenge so anyways from there these are like some of the best ways you guys could be doing I mean once again it's just completely random that you're going to be getting these phone calls and or you're going to be lucky enough to get your assistant to actually grab one of these uh you know random rare crates in the game which we will leave a list there too. uh go into wikipedia you can easily just find all the values for the crates what's the best crates to be grabbing and stuff like that so anyways from there if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful be sure to hit that like button on the way out subscribe for new content leave comments and thank you all for watching hopefully this video was helpful and you were able to go ahead and uh gain some knowledge off of it and get yourself some rare special crates potentially so uh, thanks for watching my name is gravesite i'll see you in the next one so peace